What's up, folks? It's your girl, Lisa Soler, a.k.a. Lisa with a Z, and I am here with my, my Miami Media Squad in the Miami Media Squad studio, and we are representing the Beyond Air Network for National Podcast Day and the contest. And here in the building, we have some of our students, and go ahead and represent yourself today, starting from the right. What's going on? What's going on? It's Jocelyn and Gomez. Hey, 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 this is Aaron Anderson. Hey, it's me, Benjamin Gomez. And we are representing Miami Media School in this contest right now. And the subject for today is going to be Miami Media School got me one step closer to achieving my goals by. Um, Personally, I will say that it is bringing me up to a different level. I'm currently a podcaster. I'm on two different shows. Um, one being on YouTube and the second one being on all different other medias, Lisa with Dizzy podcast and the D Squad podcast. And um, once I wanted to bring out my goals and start the show, I knew that having to get in the business, I would have to like get the certification that I needed. Um, it's not who you know sometimes. It's definitely you got to put in the work. So I know attending the school within the last month and a half has opened up my mind and my creativity and just my raw work ethic on, and discipline on how much I want to improve in the media broadcasting side of things. Um, so, Jocelyn, tell us a little bit about why you are here and what Miami Media School is going to help you with achieving your goals. Well, I would like to do sports broadcasting. It's been a dream of mine for a while now. Um, And I didn't really know where to start. But as soon as I saw the opportunity to come to Miami Media School, I I had to take it. Yeah. And uh, I mean, what was it about the school that like sparked your interest? It was mostly about everything is like hands on. Everything's hands on. And it's like you go straight to the point. That, that's what I what really got my attention about the school. So I said, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. You know, there's not a lot of ladies in sports broadcasting, and I, I commend you for that and even taking a step in that direction because there's a lot of competition in this industry. So I look forward to seeing you and your career and your development here. What about you, Aaron? Tell us a little bit on why you're here. Yeah, my interest is a video editor when I came here. Because you know, that was something I was interested in. I was younger, trying to control what's going on. And I, was, I saw my enemy in school. I actually came for a in school walkthrough one time, and I liked what I saw. So I said, I chose it. Yeah. And what do you think that's going to help you achieve the goal? Then? What's your goal in like, you know, in a year from now, once you've graduated? How do you think Miami Media School is going to bring you to that goal? My. The physicalness, the, the instructors here, and I'm here to make sure I know I know what's going on, to make sure you know whatever I got going on is you know is correct and in, in every way, and you know they give me attention that I need. That's right. What about you, Benjamin? Tell us a little bit about your goals and how Miami Media School is going to help you achieve them. Um, how Miami Media School is going to help me achieve you know my my goals. Um. Well, the teachers here are great. You know, everybody here is great. You know, they know what they're doing. I love it how they're really teaching us, like, and what we we want to learn. For example, I want to do video editing. I love how how our, uh, the teacher the teachers here um, teach us, and I'm looking I'm looking for you know to step up uh, to level up my game and. Uh, it's helping me a lot because it's, it's a lot of ha- it's a lot of hands on. That's that's really that that's really helping me a lot because you know you make an error, but uh, but you quickly you know just fix that mis- fix that mistake and you just keep going and and it really helps that hands on. And I really like I really like it here in Miami Middle School and um and the teachers here are great. Everybody here is great and. And, and yeah, so it I, definitely I, I, gave me a, a, a better perspective on our video editing. 
when I came here. I, I really worked behind the scenes. Yeah, I, I remember when um, Carlos was giving us that class um, and he made us watch a video and then he literally broke down how, like the behind the scenes stuff mm -hmm. and how we had to change the clips into, you know, different types of, um, uh, and we had to edit it in order for it to yeah. play out. And he said to us, you are never going to see broadcasting or media and movies the same because now you're seeing the technical part of it. And I've always been interested in that type of um, media. And this is why I'm involved. I'm, I'm kind of a geek into it, if you want to say. Um, I love, of course, the theatrics and the CGI and the green screens and all of that. And the benefit of being here in Miami Media School is that we get to have our own studios here. We get to record. Look at us right now. We're literally in a recording studio as students and we get to see all the instructors who have experience that are in the biz, you know, like Telemundo and, and the radio stations here in Miami. And, you know, Miami mainstream is pretty big over here for radio, TV, you name it, you got it. And it's a lot of competition so um i think that miami media is definitely going to give us that bump up compared to all the other guys that are youtubers and taking stuff with their phones we are actually getting the knowledge with the cameras and the videos and the lighting and all that good stuff um jocelyn tell us a little bit more about how you think this is going to step you up um after you get that certification well i definitely want to get recognized um like i said with my thing is sports so it would be nice to one day. My dream is possibly to work for ESPN. Yes. That's, that's, that's my dream. And like that's you said, goals. there's not a lot of women that are known to be in this field, but it doesn't have a gender, you know? Right. Like, it doesn't matter. Women, I believe that women empowerment, you know, is very important, whether it's with sports or any or any other any other field. Like, I, I believe that that's something that I can do because it's been a dream of mine since, like, a little girl. Like I said, everything has been with me play by play in NFL and NBA. And I kept on like throughout, throughout the years. Like now I'm 22 and I'm and I'm st and I'm still in love with the sport. I'm still in love with, with what I do. All right. You got this. You got this. I believe in you 100%. <laughs> I can't wait to watch you on the TV one yeah. day giving us an update on our Miami Dolphins. <laughs> Aaron, what about you? I definitely can see you behind the camera one day, uh, probably producing one of the best films or funny comedies. You never know. Um, tell us how you are going to achieve your goals once you graduate from here. Uh, they gave me a perspective on how to do interviews, close-ups, and angles, which helped me. And I actually noticed it watching a Netflix um, documentary, documentary about Two weeks ago, Michael Jordan. Yeah. And every time, you know how what Carlos talks about when you get emotional, you do a close up. Right. And you know, my main man, Mike, he cried. And when he cried, I saw the cameraman zoom in. And right. said, oh, that's what Carlos was telling me about. Yeah. So I'm like, hey. You see it differently. I, I am seeing it differently. Yeah. And Benji, what about you? Um, how do you think it's going to bring you up and achieve your goals being here at Miami Media School once you graduate? Well, it's gonna. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking about once I graduate. You know, opening my own. You know, production production studio. Cause you know, I wanna. I wanna make my own. I wanna make my own videos, and I wanna be my own boss, and I wanna have my people working in my company, and yeah, and I hopefully my company, you know, and my videos, you know, get recognized, you know, all over the world, and I love. I I I love. Like I said, I love video editing, and hopefully to have my own studio one day probably is going to be called benji studios i don't know something like that i'm gonna think about the name and like later on but <laughs> but it's definitely having my own studio will be my my, my that's dream the goal. that's the goal that's right Go. and we're all here to build our dreams and succeed and you know be passionate about everything but um here we are. We are hoping to do more podcasts like this, and we appreciate everybody that's listening to the podcast. Um, we hope that uh, we can move forward and grow together. And this has been an amazing experience. My name is Lisa Soled, and I'm here with my Miami Media School, Jocelyn, Aaron, and Benji. We appreciate you guys. We are out. All right, let's get it.